All right, well, it's departure day today here at Brantley Lake State Park in New Mexico. This is outside of Carlsbad, New Mexico. Just a beautiful morning this morning. Clear as can be. It's supposed to be 73 to 75 for a high today. So just getting ready to take off here. I always do a pre-check on the vehicle, check all the tires and fluids, do need a little bit of oil, added that. This van does burn some oil, so when I'm covering a lot of miles, I always keep a close eye on the oil levels. About due for an oil change, I think I'm going to make it all the way to Southern California, though, before I have to do that, so that should work out. So I'm going to go ahead and stop up here by the restrooms at the state park. They have a water faucet there, so I'm going to fill up all my water jugs, my portable shower, and go ahead and move on. I believe I have about an hour and a half drive to Carlsbad Caverns, which I'm really excited about that. So, got all my camera batteries charged up and flashlight batteries, and looking forward to checking those out. And hopefully, I can get some good photos and videos for you guys. So, yeah, here we go. Thank you, Brantley State Park. Spent a total of three days and two nights here. Got a lot of mountain bike riding in, took advantage of the hot showers, that was really nice, and just really enjoyed the stay here. It was nice, I kind of felt like I'd been on the move lately, which I kind of have. It was nice to settle down at a spot for a couple days, so. All right, let's get this van buttoned up, get on the road. The adventure continues. bathroom facilities here with showers really nice big shower stalls got three plus a handicap accessible one very nice place to hang your towels along the wall all right this is me all right water jugs are all filled up I guess I'm turning left. Brantley Lake State Park. Not sure if this is technically in Carlsbad, New Mexico or not. It's right in between Artesia and Carlsbad, New Mexico. And my GPS is telling me I got 46 miles to Carlsbad Caverns. Thought it was further than that. Wow, this is a great place. I'll definitely remember this on the road again. Oh man, I really enjoyed camping there. That was awesome. But yeah, that primitive area really makes you feel like you're just out kind of boondocking. Yeah, you can walk or ride your bike up to the shower house and you've got hot showers and bathrooms. Really nice. Trash dumpsters for $8 a night. Not bad. Just a note about Brantley Lake State Park. Uh, there was a lot of people fishing. They do have a boat ramp. But I did see a few signs saying that uh, you're not to eat any of the fish caught there because they have high levels of DDT in the fish. Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Visitor Center, seven miles. Well, we're at 4,200 feet. This is a really nice drive coming in here, wow. This drive is worth it alone without going to the caverns. <laughs> wow, look at that view out there. It just flattens right out. 
Ah, uh, the rumble strips. Arriving at destination on right. We made it. Kind of neat. The whole this whole national park is underground. It's like you pull up here and it's like, huh? There's nothing here. But you got to go down to see it. Ready to do this. All right, well, we're heading down to the caves. It is extremely windy, but I doubt it'll be windy down in the cave. So here we go. Got my sweater with me because it's supposed to be cool in there. Strenuous hike, exhaustion and weak knees common. Uh-oh, I think I'm ready for it. Assess hiking fitness. Sounds pretty serious to me. All right, let's get down there. These cool buildings over here, that must be for the staff. All right, away we go. Well, Carlsbad Caverns was pretty amazing. Uh, it's just huge down in there. Really hard to capture with still photos. Tried to take video. It's just so dimly lit in there that you just I couldn't pick up anything with my cameras. So uh, just one of those things you just got to see in person. It's really, really amazing. Not just the formations and everything, but just the how huge it is in there. Spent, took me about two hours to get through the whole area. That's stopping and taking pictures and stopping and just trying to absorb it all. But really, really fantastic. And this surrounding area here, it's just like, as far as the eye can see, there's like nothing. That was fantastic. It's, uh, my legs are feeling it. Did a lot of walking. A lot of downhill and some uphill. And if I would have taken that same path out that I took in it would have been straight up so I took the elevator definitely a must see I would recommend that to anybody it's only ten dollars to get in uh, I, I got another America the beautiful pass while I was there because mine has just expired so now for the next year I can get into any national parks or monuments for no charge it's eighty dollars for that pass you can buy that online REI any uh, national park they sell them so they usually try to sell you on it while you're at the paying the admission. They let you know if you're going to be seeing any other national parks. It's usually worth buying the pass. So I'm going to enjoy this beautiful drive out of here.